The Central Research Institute of Electric Power Industry, or CREEPI, was established in 1951 to serve as a comprehensive research institute for the electric power industry in Japan, contributing broadly to public interest. Then, the Abiko area was opened in 1957, initially to study agricultural electrification. Later, research divisions for hydraulics, civil engineering, geology, atmospheric science, and radiation safety were added to form the current Abiko area of Kriepi. Now, Sustainable System Research Laboratory and part of the Nuclear Risk Research Center, as well as administrative groups including Abiko Operation and Service Center and Procurement Center, are located on this 170,000 square meter site. More than 300 staff members were working together on a wide variety of research projects. The Sustainable System Research Laboratory has four research divisions. As a base of natural and environmental science for the electric power industry, the laboratory supports the stable supply of electricity and works on a range of issues to realize carbon neutrality. Let's take a look at some of the actual research being done. Japan faces typhoons, torrential rains, strong winds, heavy snowfall, earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions, and many other natural disasters that occasionally cause severe damage. Our research helps power utilities prevent service interruptions, if at all possible, and the quick restoration of service if a failure occurs. The Japanese islands lie along the boundaries of constantly moving tectonic plates. These movements trigger major earthquakes in intervals ranging from several decades to several hundred years. Active faults often set off earthquakes in intervals of just several thousand years, so it is very important that we get a clear picture of the mechanisms causing these earthquakes. Surveys and observations are needed to learn what mechanisms trigger earthquakes. We have conducted many trench excavation surveys to learn more about the history of seismic activity and the characteristics of active fault fragmentation. We conduct fixed point seismic observations on hard bedrock at locations around Japan. We also carry out observations with portable, ready-to-install seismometers in emergency situations, such as aftershocks. Examining these data, we clarify the likelihood of faults moving in the future, the magnitude when faults have moved, and the mechanisms generating earthquakes and tremors. Moreover, we conduct tests to determine the magnitude of shaking and tsunamis that electric power facilities and equipment are capable of withstanding when a major earthquake strikes. Most of the equipment supplying electricity to homes is located outside. Therefore, it is affected by rain, wind, and snow, and will also deteriorate. We conduct a wide range of research. For example, experiments studying service interruptions occurring due to strong wind and atmospheric icing, research on sediment flow, estimation of airborne sea salt particle volume, measurements of concrete properties under various conditions anticipated along coastal areas, including salt spray, as well as high temperature and humidity, and loading tests of corroded reinforced concrete structures, to explore how to protect electric power facilities and equipment, and to develop maintenance technologies. During a natural disaster, there is also the risk that a major power outage may occur. When service is interrupted, information needs to be quickly collected and initiatives implemented that anticipate any damage. We developed a system capable of estimating damage based on weather forecasts and other data which may be used on site in the field for restoring service. Furthermore, we have built a system that collects weather, power outage, SNS, and other information in near real time 
then transmits and shares that data with people so they may put it to use in grasping the extent of damage due to fallen trees or other disturbances, as well as considering whether to dispatch assistance to other companies. For the siting and operation of electric power facilities, it is essential that we consider both the natural and living environments. We have developed a variety of observation technologies, experiments, and numerical models to support impact assessments of the atmospheric environments, coastal environments, and biological and ecological systems. It is also important to investigate the effects of electromagnetic fields generated by power lines on living organisms. We have promoted research for the evaluation of biological effects by exposing cells or experimental animals to electromagnetic fields. And we are currently working to evaluate the effects by using human iPS cells and disease model mice. We are also developing countermeasures against biofueling in cooling water systems of power plants. Technologies for supporting PCB treatment, technologies for controlling plants that grow along power lines and so on, in an effort towards living in harmony with the natural environment. So that we may use nuclear power safely and reliably, it is important we solve challenges posed by radioactive waste disposal and biological effects of ionizing radiation. We conduct R&D on the performance of engineered barriers around disposal facilities, the long-term stability of bedrock and groundwater flow. It is essential that we study how low levels of radiation affect living organisms. To clarify biological effects of low levels of radiation, we study response of irradiated cells by using a variety of research equipment and devices, and analyze those effects quantitatively by developing theoretical models. Global warming is causing long-term changes in climate on a planetary scale, and it is having a significant impact on the natural environment and people's lives. This issue has raised the challenge of achieving carbon neutrality, holding the key to future growth. To mitigate global warming, it is important to reduce the amount of CO2 emissions from industries, as well as to enhance natural carbon sinks toward carbon neutrality. To support the promotion of renewable energy as a core power source, we are conducting research and development about estimation and prediction of the amount of sunlight for solar power generation, geological surveys and seismic motion simulation of sea areas where offshore wind farms are planned, assessments of local wind conditions, impact assessments on birds such as bird collisions, as well as effective utilization of marine resources based on scientific evidence. In addition, we are working on the development of carbon and resource recycling technologies that include low CO2 emission concrete, microbial conversion of CO2 into useful materials, recycling of waste concrete and used batteries, and carbon capture by fly ash and marine ecosystems. CREEPI also cooperates with other research institutions in Japan and around the world to hold seminars and engage in a range of activities as an open research center. As a natural and environmental science research hub, Kriepi's Abiko area is making a social contribution through the electric power industry in Japan with the aim of realizing a sustainable society.